प्लीज डाउन बैठिए बैठिए प्लीज प्लीज त्रिची शिवाजी त्रि त्रिची शिवाजी शांत रहिए प्लीज मिस्टर वाइस चेयरमैन सर प्लीज सुष्मिता जी प्लीज त्रिची जी प्लीज यू कंटिन्यू वाइस चेयरमैन सर यू कंटिन्यू प्लीज I stand to oppose this bill, for it is repressive, imperious, and oligarchic in nature. Sir, at the outset, I would urge the government why it should be so hasty to bring this bill and discuss within a constrained time of three hours, rather than consulting the stakeholders. That's what my, our senior. Colleague and former Home Minister asked here, "Why can't you wait for 102 days? Any bill cannot be just rushed through and can be passed with the majority a party may have in the Parliament. It should be discussed elaborately. See, our time is squeezed, and we have to put forth our views so urgently. So we would urge. We have moved a motion already. So kindly refer it to the Select Committee." Whereas the stakeholders will appear before that, and members would also have ample time to express their views. And I think this bill can be brought in later with the necessary amendments. Sir, this bill erodes the fundamental rights of the citizens of this country. Strong implications on the civil liberties and basic human rights. It raises strong questions on the right to life, right to privacy. and the right to live with dignity this is unconstitutional why it is unconstitutional as everyone pointed out it is a violating article 14 article 23 article 21 see when the constitution provides for every person to live with dignity and equality it takes away all the rights sir the bill of course as it is said in the statement of objects and reasons the purpose of bringing this bill is that measurement techniques being used in advanced countries or giving credible and reliable research and are recognized world over we accept it but our concern arises before that i would like to ask if you are following the world over you have to think about the right to for, for the right of for, for forgot forgotten right right to be forgotten see it is see practiced in argentina it is in european union and in philippines what is right to be forgotten any information private information about a person be removed from internet searches and other directorate under some circumstances but here it is not so the measurements that are collected will be stored for 75 years our concern arises and apprehension comes where when the ambit of person is expanded when the ambit of measurements is expanded this is our basic concern when the ambit of person is expanded earlier the person as act 1920 was confined only to the prisoners and of course those who were convicted but now this is any person who are there any person it's a very very sensitive and as i said earlier sensitive bill we are afraid you are armoring yourself with much more draconian laws already the uapa you amended which declared that even an individual can be identified as a terrorist and can be detained by the nia now what is this going to lead everyone has got their own thing even a person under preventive detention will be compelled to have measurements but if the person refuses automatically what will happen it shall be lawful for the police officer or prison officer to take such measurements in such manner as may be prescribed and who is the police officer as per the bill a head constable And who is the person of his there? The head warder. How will he take the measurements? Because the measurements are not just like ordinary fingerprints, finger impressions, palm print, or footprint, photographs. It doesn't stop with that. It goes to retina and iris. 
it goes to biological and physical samples and also behavior attitude including signatures handwriting and such other examination referred to in section 53 section 53 of the crpc that is much more because everyone knows that i think i may not have enough time to explain that section 53 of crpc very clearly says that which may afford us and to use such force as a reasonably necessary for that purpose what such force see the police officer or anyone can use force against anyone sir i think i, I thought i have left with five more minutes yes, sure five more minutes is exhausted stop kare i got just one more minute uh, let me complete please and uh, it says the preventive detention see the when you have expanded the ambit of persons it is bothering we are having the oppression apprehension that the government may use this against the political parties against their personal whims and fancies Wait, just one minute one minute just give me one minute please conclude and anyone who is not in favor political activists not only political as social activities even writers literate everyone will be punished thank you trish sir one more one thank moment. you thank i would please. like to conclude please. with one word yes. i would like to say very humbly in the natural process of democracy i would like to remind the ruling party one day you will be out of power thank you trish one thank, moment thank you please and at that time uh, next speaker, at that please. time please you will be recognizing for all the laws you have enacted next speaker during your tenure Shri thank Surjit. you Sujit Kumar